Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Colorado Rockies. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab for Colorado in this one, Herman Marquez. Chris, what are you looking for from him? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Ready to go at the play. Ozzie Albies. The pitch. And that's going to roll to the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Michael Whoa. Harris, the next to hit, takes ball one. In the air, left side. Ramos makes the grab, one down. That is her. And here the is Ronald Acuna Jr., fourth Ronald on the National Acuna. League RBI leaderboard. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. In the air, right field. They get the out on Acuna. Runner tagging for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Here's Austin Riley coming off a four-hit effort in yesterday's game. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. That's a base hit. Run scores. Picks himself up in RBI. You that see a ball come off the bat like the that, you know it was pretty much a perfect <laughs> swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Fifth in home runs in the National League right now. Missing inside, ball one. Swings through that. One ball, one strike. Here comes a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Riley off of first with two away. And now it's even up. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The next pitch misses. And now it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. On the ground, right side. McMahon fires over to first. Third out, but they pick up one run on the RBI single, and the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and pitching in this game, Spencer Strider. Boog, eight solid innings his last time out, picked up the win. See what he's got today. If he plays catch with his catcher the way he did, doesn't shake off. I think we'll see more of the same. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Ezekiel Tovar, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. Some high cheese for strike three. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Hit hard, base hit. 
Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Chris Bryant stands in now and watches strike one. They say it went. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. 0-2 now. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Two left. Top of the second, here's Marcelo Zuna. And he deals. That one missed. Good eye right there. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, had home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. And that's in for a strike. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Got him swinging. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Line drive, base hit. Batting it. The hitter. Man at first, next to hit, Vaughn Grissom. And a big swing and a miss. Darno stands at first with one out. That one lifted to left. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Orlando Arcia, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. On the ground, right side. They take the force out, third out, and that ends the first. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the DH, Randall Gritchick. Fly ball to right. Acuna has it sized up. And out number one on the grab. Here's Elliot Ramos. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Swing and a miss. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Servin. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And a swing and a miss there. That front door slider such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here in Denver, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Bounced out to short, Tovar. Fires across the diamond. And one away in the top of the third. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that nope. first baseman's mitt. Harris takes low second trip to the plate in this one. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one.
Swings through that one. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses in. Throw save. That's a stolen base. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. And the righty deals. Rudder goes again. Throw to third. Save. In this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. Right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team. And that one is lifted in the air. Jones makes the grab on the run. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and they take a two-run lead. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly, RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Bounce to the right side, and that's just foul. Riley getting to start at third, batting in the cleanup spot, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Boots it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Drew Jones. That's in there. That's strike one. And he pumps in a strike. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Harold Castro stands in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Castro measures 5 feet 10 inches, 195 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and it's three and two. Sets him down looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. One and one. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. That's in there. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the end. Welcome back. On to the fourth. Here's a big power threat. Matt Olson. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Ramos makes the catch, and there's one gone. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. The other way, dives for the bag, got him! Double play! Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the fourth, and now Yonathan Daza. That one's in there, strike one. Just missed. And a ground ball to first. Olsen takes it himself. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. It spills out of his glove. One down. 
Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. Check swing of the first pitch. Looked down to third, and he held back, according to Ricky Holiday. The 1 0. That's the third. Riley sends it across the first. That's it out. Good two seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. Gritchick stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is 2 and 0. Oh. They say it went. Two balls, one strike. Bounce to the left side. Arcia zips it to first, and that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom. Ball nope. one there. You know, these Braves doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Here's Orlando Arcia. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. And a swing and a miss. Runner at first with no outs here. Working down to the zone to start the at bat. Looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers. Runner on the go. Now fly ball to right center. Daza racing over to make the catch. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. One for two. Outside. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Harris stands in now, looks at that one inside. Swings and misses. And the count even at one. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Hand, the lefty, warming up as well. Swing and a miss. One and two. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Swings and misses. Two away. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Yeah. If he can get through this one, put up a 0, this will help in his outings to come. Bounce back to the mound. Tobar on the run. Throw to first. That ends the frame. Two left for Atlanta. They're up 2 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So in now for Colorado, Elliot Ramos. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. One gone here. And here's the catcher, now, now, Ryan catcher. Servin. Brian. Oh, Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Four. Next offering is down low. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't move. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. This place is absolutely loving it. Third home run of the season. It's 2 1.
this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, but he absolutely tattooed it. Base is empty, one away. Next for Colorado, Drew Jones. He checks his swing, and that's a foul ball. Towards first, and he grabs it, foul. And he'll two. Good job to fight that one off. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a slider for a strike. The line of the pitch. Into center. Harris has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Austin Riley. Marquez back to work. And yeah, that's outside. Out there to center. Daza has it sized up. Makes the grab one away. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Olsen at the plate now. That's ball one. Not Two close balls. with that one. Two balls, no strikes. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next offering misses. And now three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Out towards right center field. Daza has it sized up. He's got it. And there's two away. Here's the left fielder. Marcelo Zuna. In the air to left center, Ramos moving under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. three. Welcome back, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. On the ground, out to short. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. No outs, runner at first. Next to hit for the Rockies, Yonathan Daza. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. There's a strike. Swings and misses. 0 oh and 2. Got him swinging. Now two out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. The Rockies strand one, and our score remains 2-1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Tyler Kinley. He last pitched two days ago. Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. The pitch. On the ground is short. Tobar. Jump throw. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. 
So up next, Vaughn Grissom. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two now. And that's outside. Action in the pen down there. Pierce Johnson up and loosening in the pen. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And there's a hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Tap back up the middle. Fires to second for one. Over to first. That's two. Set for the last half of the seventh. Randall Gritchick now. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Looking to get the tying run on base. Caught him looking for the K. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. That misses. One and one. one, and one. Strike two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Servin. And that one fouled off. And he'll one. And strike two. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. New pitcher in the game for the Rock. Now coming for the Rock. Number three. He's Pierce Johnson. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so. Command and execution are huge for him. Albies stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And there's a the ball. That one ripped right center field. Does it? Going back. Back some more. Racing back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Line to left, and that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely, 
It's a double and his second hit. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good nope. timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And now two and nothing. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And Acuna retired. Rounder tags at second. He's in there. Digging in, Austin Riley. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. That one ripped, and it goes just foul. And the pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that will end the end. Back here in Denver, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the batter now, Drew Jones. Olsen steps on the bag, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. Castro in the box now, takes strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Right side. Albies over to first in time and a couple of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. The tying run at the plate. Taps softly to the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And that is Justin Lawrence. Now for the Number 61. Yes, Comes on now. Hey, this guy can bring it velocity wise. The pitch. Olsen, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. And it's one and one. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And another ball. The 2-2 on the way. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Ozuna in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Liner to second and picked on the hop. McMahon fires over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Travis Darno next up for the Braves. Hammer, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No. Messing around right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And here is Vaughn Grissom. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And that one hammered back there. And that one finds the forest. It's out of here. 
is 14th of the year and they add to their lead it's 4-1. one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat I mean he put a good swing on it clearly but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat the exit velo wasn't anything too impressive but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows base is empty with two away and next for Atlanta Orlando Arcia fouled off he was late the pitch and that is cut on and miss. No balls, two strikes. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. The 0 2. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. And that's a two out double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Into the game now, the southpaw Brad Hand. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Runner at second, two down. Down and in, moved his feet. And that one in the air, center field. McMahon on the move, snags it on the run. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 4-1. You're dialed into the show. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Rysel Iglesias. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Daza in the box now. No balls and a strike. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. And that's down it away. That one laced to center and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And one and two. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now it's the second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves. And sometimes... The adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Daza, the base runner at first with one out. That one, 95 to finish him off. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly late with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. On the ground to the left. On the first. Ball game. And the Braves claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 
Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits, and now all of a sudden it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now, and that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you the same good food he's been giving you all along, and you can keep this win streak going. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.